Yeah. Once he did HBO, man, it went from like a couple thousand to like 10,000 people in that joint. And then, the I mean, why, I mean, like me and Kat got a, a, a real friendship. It ain't like, you know, like, yeah, it's like, not just it, business. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my really, my, my friend, like, you know, like, I, and, he, and he's blessed me. Now, there you go. Not only with like, Financially, but he's blessed me, like opening his audience up to me. There you go. So there you, go. Nice. you know, when I go on tour, you know, they come to see Cat Williams, but they're gonna see Ray Grant too. Real life. Speaking of meeting people, um, I'm curious, you and Cat Williams, mm -hmm. I mean, dynamic. How did y'all even link up um, as far as what did, what was that chance meeting? What was that that joke that was told? What was that set that made y'all say, man, let's let's do this on a long-term basis? No, I don't think it was like, I think when Cat used to host uh, at Hollywood Park in uh, Los Angeles, and that was one of the spots that you can go to uh, and tell jokes. And he used to, I mean, when I say he used to destroy that joint, he used to destroy that joint. So everybody used to go up there. He was the host. You come up there and you rock out. But then when he finally got on, um, oh, I didn't know my man was all right. You know, I was just, <laughs> my man looking around and shit. I was like, all right, what's going on? Is we about to cut the interview? No. Shit, was, he was looking for some weed or something. What yeah, was he looking for? This shit got real for a second. Everybody stopped. We'll I, I looked at my assistant like, what, what's going on? All right, we're going to wrap this up. Right. He was looking hard, too. <laughs> you find it? Right, okay, good. Cool. Okay, good. Cool. All right, cool. Um, no, you know, <laughs> So I had stopped. I had stopped telling jokes for like about two years, um, and started working at um, Viacom producing television shows. I was I produced like about twenty five shows for the network. I wasn't even telling jokes. And when I came back to California, Linnell was having a birthday party or some type of party at this club, and Cat came through. And he, he went, once it was all over, he was like, you know, he about to start his tour. And did I want to come on tour with him? I was like, yeah, hell yeah. And this is before he did uh, HBO. Uh, His, uh, the special. Yeah, so, but once yeah. he did HBO, man, it went from like a couple thousand to like 10,000 people in that joint. And then, the I mean, why, I mean, like me and Kat got a, a, a real friendship. It ain't like, you know, like, yeah, it's like, not just it, business. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's my that's my really my, my friend, like, you know, like I and he's and he's blessed me. Now there you go. Not only with like financially, but he's blessed me like opening his audience up to me. There you go. So there you, go. Nice. you know, when I go on tour, you know, they come to see Cat Williams, but they're gonna see Ray Grant too. There you go. So I get a chance. Which is to, just as good. If not, sometimes better. At well, see, I was, was going to say it. Well, well no, nah, Cat, Cat's the man. You know what I'm saying? And he put on so many people yeah. that are, are like big celebrities right now. Like he, he gave, he gave people like, like opportunities. And if you mess it up, it's on you. So, Red, I got to ask you then, um, and this is, I just want your thoughts on this because this was, this is touchy. Because you, I know you with every, you mess with everybody. Uh, so I Kat, don't mess with everybody. Not, not mess with everybody, but you know. Okay. Cat, uh, <laughs> you know, shout, and shout out to Linnell. Um, Cat really went to defense for Linnell after, of course, he saw the Tiffany Haddish uh, movie and things with uh, with uh, Kevin Hart. And then, of course, Kevin Hart and Cat had a back and forth about Tiffany kind of moving, getting a, just moving past a lot of other female comedians. Um, Kevin said his piece. Cat, of course, said his piece. Wh who's to say who's right or wrong? It's our perspective. Um, what is your thoughts as far as just what they both were saying at the time as far as 
you know, Linnell and then seeing what Tiffany Haddish was able to do in such a short time frame. Not saying she didn't put in work, but, you you know, there were some other people that were up, you know, that, that could have had a chance as well. What are your thoughts with just Kat and Kevin Hart's perspective on that scenario? Well, I mean, I talk about it on YouTube, man. You can, you can Google what I said about that, my perspective on that. I mean, that's my true perspective. Over, I don't know, 10 million views on it. Yeah, that but, is. But um, I just look at life like two, two moguls. I, I'm not even in, I'm not even in their world. Like I can't, I can't even imagine being in their world. But if at that time, at that moment, I was just like, I didn't, I didn't want to see, I didn't want to see uh, two black men beefing. Yeah, and I've been knowing Tiffany a long time. And I just thought, I just think that the more, like most people in that moment would have threw flame, like uh, fuel on the fire. But I just, I, 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 I just feel like, you know, we beef enough. Amen. As African Americans, a lot of times we don't even like know what we're beefing about. But they had a they had a, a real situation going on. But you know, I just don't get involved with who beefing with who and why. I, just just my and, and K Dub know he know my he know my personality. He know I don't get involved with that. But that's my friend, so. I'm gonna I'm a make sure I, you know, I'm gonna ride with him to the end. That's just, that's what I do. And, but I, I made my statement and what I said, and that's just how I felt at that moment. It's a lot of people that get on that shouldn't be on. Uh, it's a lot of people that's on, lose it, get it back. Um, I just know it ain't too many people can mess with me on that on the hardwood. <laughs> hey Amen. Uh, and you can get your favorite comedian, whoever you think your favorite comedian is, and you can put them up behind me and let me go up right in front of them. They ain't gonna want that smoke no more. There's a very few people that can handle that smoke. Uh, and you know, I just I learned a lot from K Dub, man. I mean the man creates our special every year, two hours special, two hours of a special every year. I mean, his creative, his creative thoughts is like, like out of this world. So, uh, and he is a genius for, for that reason. And, you know, people just need to do more research on what's going on and not getting involved with the beefs and stuff like that. Me, myself, I, you know, I don't beef with nobody. And if they beef with me, fuck them. Real life.